Hey guys, welcome back to another Serena Pooper Black. We're going to jump right into the energy of the cards, of course, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And join us as I prepare a bit of food for thought. So let's jump right into the energy here, Holy Spirit. What is the message here? What is the message here for the collective energies? Someone still has passion for you. Someone still has love for you, but they feel like something is in the beginning stages of something. Their mind is still in a very chaotic space. I sense this is someone who is still in a chaotic space because they have failed to realize something or complete something. Um, someone's mind is in a very toxic mind space because now they realize how much of a gift you truly were. Yeah, this is someone who is in a space of chaos because of a separation. Someone feels disconnected from you. Disconnected from the passion. A new beginning. This is someone who could be soul searching about it. This is someone who is having to go deep. But they are lacking the willpower. Self-control. Even determination. Yeah, I feel someone is hell bent on making something right or getting past something when it comes to you however there is still a space of chaos running through their mind the fact that they left something a mystery because now they're in a very clouded mind space this is someone who is unable to think clearly about their poor judgments or the poor communication that was given to you this is why they're trying to go deeper Someone just feels like they're lacking the willpower just, just to do it. Someone feels like they can't make something clear. They cannot undo what they have done. I feel this is all in regards to their low self-esteem. Because there's a lot of guilt. This is someone who feels sorry, but they have done nothing about it. They are afraid to set some boundaries with these toxic energies surrounding them. While some of them may be even using this guilt to manipulate. This is what's leaving them in this chaotic mindset because they are going about things the wrong way. This energy is detached when it comes to knowledge. Trying to better themselves. Yet I also feel they're at a crossroads about it. This is someone who is at a crossroads when it comes to a twin flame energy. Or someone who was highly favored in their life. And now they could be trying to suppress it all because of their pride this is someone who is not allowing themselves to think about you as often as they would be but I also feel them bottling up these emotions and it's causing their pride to implode this is someone who has the sense of a lack mentality someone feels like since they can't make it right they would rather stay in their wrong they're sitting in a comfort zone this is someone who is sitting in a comfort zone when it comes to what they should be doing. There's no compromise. I feel there is no compromise when it comes to someone who has been reckless for a long time. This is someone who is lacking the ability to compromise with you. So they took a chance. Someone took a chance and they just walked away. I feel like this is someone who sabotaged the situation with you all out of ego. There was no loyalty. There was a no loyalty and there was barely any respect. Now they feel like they're unworthy of your forgiveness. So they stay in this comfort zone. This is someone who failed to surrender to you or let the negativity go. They feel unlovable. They're complacent, yet they still desire you. Someone knows they took the easy way out. Now they're trying to find some clarity about it. Someone ghosted you, trying to be more independent, but now they feel vulnerable. Vulnerable when it comes to finances, stability, even their mental space. There's no clarity, and they're overwhelmed by it. This is someone who's getting the signs, but they feel like there's too many trust issues. This is someone who is causing a lot of deception not realizing the real from the fake hmm. wow this is someone who wants the forgiveness but they feel unworthy of it 
this is why they're continuing to come out of a space of ego pride especially when it comes to a twin flame energy this is why they're so chaotic when it comes to their mindset as this is someone who is sitting in a space where they have built their future on a false foundation this is a rocky foundation where they have been very foolish or careless mm. I feel like this is someone who has been foolish or careless because they were counting on you to fix it. Someone was counting on you to make things right. Now they're surprised at the fact that you're unaware or unaffected. While well, they're very affected and annoyed. Someone is upset because you're allowing something to play out. Now they're feeling mentally strained and emotionally stressed. And I feel it's stemming from a false environment or fake environment. Fake foundation. As I said before, someone is definitely working from a false environment that's keeping them trapped. And when this energy feels trapped, they run. Or just simply check out. Not realizing moving with love and intention is their only saving grace. If this energy is contemplating, they're stalled. There's no growth, there's no development because this energy is still stuck in fear and anxiety. This is a limited belief, a toxic way of thinking because of their toxic patterns. Someone knows they should have been a warrior. They should have fought for this commitment. Now they're going through an awakening when it comes to a soulmate trying to find their worth. Someone is contemplating on reaching out. Yet this energy is so chaotic when it comes to their mindset. They're just trying to figure it out. Someone's trying to figure out how to bring you a truth. Yet I sense their only true regret is getting caught. Because they know it won't be easy to gain your forgiveness. Yet I also feel... The them denying something or denying a truth has caused their baggage to become the baggage of others. Someone else is carrying their problems. And this is why they just can't figure it out. This is why they're still in denial or in a space where they're fearing change. Hmm. Because they've only been dismissive with you. Very dismissive and even disrespectful when you are only trying to help them figure it out. Because this energy won't be able to escape accountability accountability for their actions as they know they owe you so much more than what they have given. They owe you answers for their questionable behavior. Yet I sense by the time they begin to mature or even understand their choices, you will already have healed or moved on from something. I feel like you would have healed the part of you that used to need them. They used to want them. And this is agitating for them as they have come to realize they lost you because they lost themselves. This is someone who didn't fight for the connection. Now they're going through an awakening, a very chaotic awakening. All because they were suppressing their thoughts, suppressing their feelings, and continuing to go in a wrong direction. This is someone who's completely triggered. I feel this energy is triggered by heartbreak hardship, and even third-party energies. This is someone who is in deep regret. I feel this is someone who is in deep regret about not being transparent about a situation, not realizing the fake from the phony. Hmm. Someone is stuck in denial. I feel like this energy was stuck in denial about a third party that only made things harder. Harder when it comes to family, chaos, and confusion. Someone needs to take off the mask to reveal a truth, but I feel this energy is overloaded with too many responsibilities. Things are new. Hmm. New to them? Wow. Someone is definitely in regret. I feel this energy is in regret over a karmic energy, a karmic family. These are relationships that are not related immediately. Please take it how it resonates. This could be family or friends. But someone is realizing they should have set more boundaries. Because now they're dealing with a lot of deception. Yeah. 
There's no teamwork and this energy is feeling incomplete. This energy feels like the worth is at stake. Someone is trying to figure something out, but I feel these are there's a lot of toxic energies around them keeping them from finding their way, figuring things out. Yet I feel someone's gonna go deeper. Someone's gotta go deeper to find a space of completion from this deception, to learn something from what they've been through so they don't have to do it again. Someone's gonna have to go deeper when it comes to their spirituality. This is someone who's gonna have to find a way to connect with self, to find more balance. But I also feel these toxic addictions or toxic ways of being are going to keep them from new opportunities, open doors. But I feel the lack of opportunities will only bring in real lessons, lessons they will never forget. I feel karma is about to step in and someone's going to have to pay their karmic debt. Someone's going to have to pay a karmic debt for neglecting wounds, wanting to be independent from a situation, and now someone is feeling very vulnerable because of it. This is someone who is shedding tears behind the choices they have taken or the path that they have chosen. Someone is regretting this karmic family, this karmic energy or environment. This is someone who is needing to set boundaries to feel complete, but this energy is still chaotic when it comes to a, their mindset. As I said before, these hardships are definitely stemming from outside energies. This is someone who is very neglectful or immature, naive. And this is all, this is what has caused their hardship. Letting others in was also their problem as well. I feel they can't blame anyone but self for taking the chances that they have taken towards you or against you. Let's see what the message is here. And the message is here for the collector. Hmm. Someone's completely triggered about a friendship or a connection that went south. This energy is wanting to put into this commitment, this connection. This energy knows there was real love with you. They just don't know how to get back to it. They're watching, waiting. Someone feels like there will be some type of magical intervention where they will be able to reunite with you. But I feel this energy needs to look themselves in the mirror and make some real changes. Because until then, they will continue to drift off into these dark spaces, get lost, be easily misled. Wow. Someone needs to set some boundaries and stand on it. This is someone who has done a lot, but got nothing from it. They're thinking about the connection that they had with you. But they're also feeling it's already lost. Someone is thinking about the connection they had with you. This is fifth dimensional energy where someone is just wanting to pull up. But they feel like they don't have that position anymore. They feel like you won't compromise. They see you as a twin flame, someone who needs to be in their life, someone who was very supportive and a true blessing. But they're hiding their feelings. This is someone who is hiding their feelings to keep some type of control because they feel blocked out from you. They feel like they've been blocked. There's no true connection anymore. You're unattached. <laughs> You're unattached because this energy is attached to a false twin flame. Someone is who is pretending to be you. Someone who cannot level up to you, a karmic. This is someone who is of convenience. And I also feel it was all a test. It was a test and they blew it. I feel these. this was a test of small challenges, even availability, and they lost themselves. Someone lost themselves or lost their own identity trying to justify their behaviors, justifying their bad habits or the path they chose to take, and it only caught, caused them to be caught in limbo. Things are going round and round. They're dealing with the same mistakes over and over again. These cycles are repeating because this energy never changed. For some of you, you feel like they're just addicted to the toxicity, the drama. The fact that they wanted you to chase. This is someone who 
wants you to compromise when it comes to love, but their addiction to the toxicity of wanting to be chased or wanting to be the problem in this so-called love situation has caused them to have a love lost. All because of the fact that they were driven by their ego. Now it just seems like a lost case. Now this energy may just be stuck with the memories. Someone definitely put you in a space of giving you false hope. Pretending that they would change. Pretending that they could do better. But I feel in every chance that was given, they failed you. And it's hard to forgive them for that. I feel this is someone who is about to be awakened in the worst way. There's a lot of wounds of rejection. But some, somewhere in their mind, they thought that time was going to make this right. But it only caused something to be more out of sync. However, there will be a breakthrough. There will be a breakthrough of someone who is being hesitant. There will be a breakthrough in commitment. Communication. And someone is just needing to go with the flow. Make more changes and commit to it. I feel this is someone who needs to be consistent with doing right. Because they have been consistent in doing wrong for so long. There's a lack of trust here. You're not going to chase them. Even though you still care or you even feel sorry for them, you're not willing to chase someone who is not willing to change. Let's get some energy here. Yeah. There's a lot of talk going around about this connection. and Someone is not wanting you to listen. Someone doesn't want you to hear what's being said about them or someone is not wanting you to hear what they've been saying about you. It wasn't part of the plan. Someone knows if you hear what's been going on, it's it's going to leave something dead for good. This is someone who knows they are perfectly imperfect. Someone knows that you were the right way to go, but they took a different direction in the, in the end. And it hasn't been an easy breeze. Someone thought that something was going to be easier without you, but it only ended up being a trap. As I said before, this was a test. This was a test that they completely failed. And this is why they're living in a space of misery. Because they didn't get it right. Whatever they did wasn't part of the plan. Someone didn't see something coming when it comes to compromise. Affairs of the heart. This is why they're stuck in limbo. All because they tried to justify what they did to you. It only left them bound and trapped to something that is very toxic. And they lost themselves because of it. Someone is wanting you to be available. They see you as a safe space. But also feel they've been detoured in some type of way. I feel them being detoured is also a hidden blessing. Because there's no respect. There's no respect for a cheating heart. You have no respect for the arguments. And the fact that there is no resolution within a situation. And there is always a repetitive energy of someone continuing to do wrong. There's a cycle of emotions because of it. Because this energy is always choosing to take the wrong path. I feel there is one goal and two ways to do it. And they always choose the coward's way. Now this energy is at a crossroads. There's a decision that needs to be made. And I feel if this energy chooses the wrong path again. Their fears, their fears will be awakened. There is no runner chaser energy here. You're not looking to chase this energy and they need to see that for what it is. But I also feel they're about to be rudely awakened by something because there's about to be an unexpected event that is about to take place here. I feel this could be a turning point. So expect the unexpected. But I do also feel whatever they're feeling for you is definitely unexplainable. They can't explain what they've done and they can't explain how they feel about you. But it's all a lesson. It's all a lesson that needs to be learned from someone who was tested and they blew it. I feel the lessons that they have failed to learn has caused them to go through a dark night of the soul where they're dealing with a lot of regret, shame, and guilt. I feel this is someone who's completely embarrassed by wasting the time. Wasting the time that was given to clean something up. 
someone is looking for a breakthrough with you because they know something is out of sync. But I also feel this energy needs to put the work in to let you know that what they're feeling is real. However, this separation is definitely making them feel some type of way because they feel like you don't want them back. It's activating something in them. Activating their jealousy, activating their pride because they don't want to wait. Something is definitely reaching a climax. I see some type of celebration for you. And someone is watching you while they're being awakened. This energy is going through a lot of highs and lows. Just because of a breakup, the fact that they wanted to say goodbye or did a lot of things to make you regret your position or regret what they have done. Because something has been a conflict for too long. I feel the two of you has been like fire and ice for a very long time because this energy refuses to get it right. But this energy is thinking about the possibilities. They want things to be okay, but they are now worried about the fact that they ghosted you. They played these games with you, causing so many differences. This is someone who feels the passion between the two of you is very intense. They believe in the connection. They believe in you, but I feel you've lost a lot of respect. And that's worse than you being mad at them because now they're on the outside, looking in, trying to control their issues. Someone is going through a lot and they don't even want to admit you were right. Because they took the wrong way out. They took the wrong direction. They was they were never available to you. They were never connected in the right way. And now they're having to deal with what's attached to that. They're going to have to deal with the karma that's coming their way. Someone didn't think about the choices that they were making before they hurt you. This is why they were not willing or ready to compromise because they felt like they were going to be forgiven anyways but I feel you made something clear to someone you spoke up you spoke out and I feel you said a lot of things they needed to hear I feel for many of you you have to put your foot down and let them know they must compromise because without it there's no stability messages please final messages for many of you, this energy is coming out bankrupt. This could be mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is looking you up, knowing that you have bossed up. Someone is regretting this love triangle that they put you in, some type of competition. And they're all in their head about it. Someone has love on the brain, but they're also in a space where they feel like you resent them in some type of way for what they did. Trying to make you wait or make you chase was a waste of time. Someone is realizing they should have invested time and energy into you, yet they're also realizing they invested in the wrong things. This is why things are the way they are. This is why they feel trapped or empty inside. There's someone who doesn't want to feel this way, but someone is needing to see something for what it is because they neglected you. This energy neglected you for karmic energies, friends. It's energies that cannot be trusted there's a lot of tension secrets as well as competition and they weren't paying for this someone didn't see that coming and now someone's want to make an offer this is an offer that you see as a dirty offer because you feel like why now why are you trying to make it right now is it because i'm rising is it because i'm doing better without you this is something that they're all in their head about because they're on the outside looking in this is someone who wants to give you something. This is someone who wants to give you something material. This could be money. They feel like they owe you money or they should give something back to you. But for in many cases, I feel it's just that you've been very generous to this energy. And they just ghosted you. Someone felt they were entitled to what you gave. And they're reflecting on it. They're reflecting on how they treated you. How they talked bad about you. When you were the only one there to help them. This energy is reflecting on the things that they have said. The way that they ignored you. Because now they're curious about you. This is someone who wants to make an offer. But they feel like their reputation has been scorned. Or something has been lost for good. Because their scare tactics. It didn't work. I feel someone is really triggered. 
This is someone who is truly triggered by the fact that you have done something off, you've moved on, you've picked up the pieces in some type of way, and they're crying about it. They're emotional. They're very upset. Someone is upset because they feel you just moved on. This energy feels like you moved on and things got better for you and they're just sitting in a space where they're broke, feeling broken, wanting to force their way back in. This is what's leaving them in a space where their head is in the clouds, overthinking things, not wanting to be rejected, but they do want you back. They just feel like you're unbothered or even moving. Someone feels like you don't care anymore. They feel like if they reach out, you'll reject them because you're too, win too busy winning, too busy being better without them. And they just feel like they played themselves because whatever they were doing is played out. But I sense for you it's the same old thing, different day, and you're just tired of dealing with the chaos, the drama, the lies, the disrespect. You're fed up. You're fed up with dealing with their ego, their emotions, their low IQ, and the fact that they're always starting mess and then trying to kiss your butt afterwards. This is someone who is confused on which way to go, how to make things right, because they're still dealing with some bad habits or even addictions. Smiling in your face and disrespecting you behind your back, this energy is coming out as a wolf in sheep's clothing. I feel like you believed in this energy and they did everything in their power to put you in a position to question their actions. Wasting time. But I feel someone is definitely wasting time hating on your happiness trying to bring you down by their actions or their hateful ways because they're going to have a lot of bad karma to deal with because they should have never taken from you as the more they hurt you or pushed you away is the only thing that's keeping things apart but I also feel they are doing all of this to prove to themselves that they don't need you when in fact they truly do because in so many ways, this energy is trying not to admit how important you truly are to them. As it seems, they resent you because they need you. So they punish you with distance or silence, which only hurts them in the long run. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and has gained some food for thought. If so, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Hope to see you again, guys. Bye.